riders, how's it going? It's another week, another ride home review. This week I I watched Isle of Dogs, which was which is directed by Wes Anderson, and it includes the voice talents of quite a few people, but it includes uh, Brian Cranston, uh, Ed Norton, Scarlett Johansson, Harvey Keitel, Bob Balaban, uh, Greta Gerwig, and many, 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 many more. Um, so also I just want you to know don't forget to uh, subscribe to us on YouTube uh, like me on uh, Facebook follow on Instagram so on and so forth so the movies uh, really about I think they said it's set in the future um, and uh, it's an animated film about a young boy who loses his dog who goes to search for his dog because all dogs have been banished due to a disease they've been banished from uh, the mainland to a, uh, a place called trash island and this boy goes in search of his dog and what i liked about this uh, the animation is was different and it was really cool um I like the concept, the the story, the concept of the story was really, was really cool. Um, it was a little different, um, and you know, I and uh, and the voice acting cast was just superb. Although I would have liked to have a little bit more of some characters or some actors in it, and a little more uh, uh, in that regard. Um, um, there were some good plot twists uh, for the most part. Um, and yeah, I mean, it just, the animation itself was just very mesmerizing. Um, and so, uh, so it was really, really cool what some of the things they did. Um, I'm not quite sure why they made it um, Asian and as, as the dominant culture in that. I don't think it really matters, but I just didn't know why. It doesn't matter there. and. Um, so, um, and I like the fact that they chose to translate some parts, but not all parts, um, so that you can get that feel of what a dog is trying to understand um, with the human saying it. Because if you don't speak uh, Japanese or, or Chinese or whatever they're speaking, um, you just have to try to decipher it. And so it's interesting how they cho picked, how it, the director picked and chose what to translate and what not to translate um and uh what i didn't like was i thought the pacing was a little slow i mean i know with wes anderson he's a little more deliberate but this one uh um just uh it was just one of those things where i just I, it was a little slower than than what he normally does and and sometimes i'd like i would have liked it to pick up the pace a little bit um character development i didn't feel like uh we got enough of some of the dogs uh we got some um passing by some some you know a little bit of backstory but not enough i mean especially with the aboriginal dogs um would have liked a little bit more of that uh it just seemed that um <laughs> the focus got put more on back onto the humans than the dogs and so uh, yeah it was just one of those things and what to watch for um, the mixture of the animation that they, he's, he the director chose to use um, so check that out on how they did did different things here and there um, but most most likely you don't have to see this in a theater um, it is family friendly there is no cursing no uh, overtones of anything in that regard um, but yeah I would give it a so-so um, it wasn't great it wasn't bad it wasn't Wes Anderson's best so there you have it Isle of Dogs uh, once again don't forget that this will also be on Anchor and iTunes so check it out there plus we're on YouTube Facebook and and Instagram at Ride Home Reviews so until next week, which will be a recap week of the last couple months, uh, watch something cool. See you next time.